This is a motorcycle's tail. Previously on A Motorcycle's Tale. What's that motorcycle? It's a Honda GB350. The motorcycle in this episode was kindly lent to us by Albany Motorcycles. I just want to make it clear I have not been paid, sponsored, or received any endorsement by Albany Motorcycles. They were just kind enough to lend us the motorcycle to review today. For all your motorcycle needs, talk to Gary and his team. They have what you need or will do their best to get it if available. Now, let's get on with today's episode. Let's go. G'day and welcome to today's episode of A Motorcycle's Tale. We are reviewing a Honda GB350 2024. Let's go for a ride. Here we go with the first ride on a GB350 Honda. Adjust my mirrors. This old classic style look bike just is gorgeous. Oh, I'm so excited and I just can't hide it. Woo! Sorry, okay. Oh, that seat feels comfy. Brake pedals. It's a very kitchen chair style bike. Very upright, very nice. I like it. Brakes feel awesome. Now let's check the front brake. Oh yeah, front brake feels nice. Very light, very, feels kind of bottom heavy. Ooh, come on fella, please stop. As, as a certain channel would say, take it easy. I am very, very, very much looking forward to doing a review on the Honda GB350 2024. It's just nice. It feels nice. It's easy to throw around. It's easy to turn the high beam on too. Whoops. <laughs> well, she does 50 in second. Wow, this is just lovely. I like that dash. Very simplistic, but very, very useful. Now I'm doing 50, buddy. I really want to own one. I really want to own one. This thing is comfy. Oh, it's got a heel kicker. Oh, oh, dude. That's what happened when I, yeah, okay. Wow, it's got a heel kicker, a heel gear changer. That's just an economy light. Wow, 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 I want one, I want one, I want one, somebody buy me one, Honda give me one, I want one. Okie dokie, I think that will do for our first ride, let's go do some tests. Well, the GB350 just flies through these Figaro's. No challenge at all. So comfortable and easy.
and as we switch into figure eights let's see how it goes for that once again i feel like this is such an easy bike to control completely no challenge at all i can't wait to see this bike in the overall competition at the end of the year Here we go with the Honda GB350 2024 emergency stops. Up to 50 we go, there we are, nice and cruisy, and release that squeeze, lovely, not quite perfect, that's what happens when you leave throttles on. Going for a second one, up to 50 we go. And there we are, getting ready, nice, that was a better one. Zero to 60. Let's see if we can get a better time. Once again we go up the twist of the whole doom. Let's handle this with ease. Beautiful. Flawless victory. And down the hill we go. <laughs> oh, the brakes are so good on this bike. Oh, lovely control, just so much control. Easy, easy, easy. And down to the stop we go. The final ride and review of the GB350. Now, before we talk about the pros and cons of the 350, let's mention the classic design. The GB draws inspiration from classic British motorcycles of the 1960s and 70s, featuring a retro-style design that appeals to riders who appreciate vintage looks. It very much reminds me of the first bike I ever owned, the Honda CM250 Custom. That was a great first bike and I very much love the look of this bike. The pros and cons of the GB350. The GB350 offers several pros that make it an attractive choice for riders. As always, Honda motorcycles are renowned for their reliability, ease of maintenance, and the 350 is no exception. The GB's simplicity and straightforward design makes it relatively easy to maintain. Access to routine maintenance tasks, such as oil changes, brake pad changes, chain cleaning and lubing, is typically straightforward, reducing maintenance hassle for owners. The lightweight chassis and manageable dimensions make it easy to handle, especially in urban environments with tight spaces or when navigating through traffic. As seen in the Figaro's and Figure 8's, it's a nimble bike that offers fun and engaging riding experiences. Like many retro style bikes, the 350 offers ample opportunities for customization, including making a bobber or cafe racing style bike. While the Honda GB350 has many positive attributes, there are some potential drawbacks that the rider should consider. 
While the GB350's engine is adequate for city riding and leisurely rides, it may lack the power and performance capabilities desired by some riders who prioritise speed or spirited riding. Riders seeking high performance motorcycles may find the 350 underpowered compared to other motorcycles in its class. While the GB does offer modern features like fuel injection and electric starts, it may lack some of the more advanced technology and convenient features found in other contemporary motorcycles. Riders who value the latest technology or creature comforts may find the motorcycle lacking in this regard. The GB had no problems completing Figaro's and figure eights. There was little challenge in throwing the bike around which is always a good thing. It had no problem with emergency stops, stopping in a controlled and easy and safe distance. The 0 to 60s was definitely the test that challenged the GB. It does not have the pulling power of something more powerful, but it can still possibly get you out of trouble. The nimbleness of going up and down the twisty hill of doom makes me want one of these bikes. Thanks for joining us on this ride aboard the GB350. As we wrap up our review, it's clear that this motorcycle offers a unique blend of classic styling, modern engineering, and dependable performance. From its timeless design to its nimble handling and fuel-efficient engine, the GB350 delivers a truly enjoyable riding experience. While it might have some limitations in terms of power and comfort, its charm and reliability make it a compelling choice for riders looking to embrace the retro riding lifestyle. Be sure to watch the channel for more motorcycle reviews and adventures. Until next time, ride safe and keep your wheels on the road. Thank you, fellow riders, for tuning in to today's A Motorcycle's Tale. From completing the Figaro's to navigating the treacherous Twisty Hill of Doom, we've explored the limits and capabilities of this motorcycle. If there's a motorcycle you're itching to see reviewed in the future, drop a comment below or shoot me an email on a motorcycle's tale at gmail.com. I hope today's bike has shown you a motorcycle's tail. It's time for What's That Motorcycle?